Yeah. Now we're going to be looking at being able to add and subtract some numbers. And we have done quite a lot of this this year, but because it's been a while again, and you might have practiced it, I want to go through it again. So adding fractions, um, just a few basic ones. Remember, two fractions, it needs to have a common denominator, like this one here. Five ninths plus two ninths would be seven ninths. Whereas if you had one like this, four sevenths plus one and a third, you'd have to get a common denominator. For example, you know, multiply the bottom two together to get 21, 21, and then cross multiply. So you get 12, 7, that's not very clear, but then add it together to get 9 over 20, 19 over 21. So those hopefully should be easy enough. I'm going to go straight into add and subtract mixed numbers. When you are dealing with mixed numbers, in adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, the first step is always the same. What we're going to do is we're going to convert to the top heavy fractions, or improper fractions, as they should be called. So, remember the method? So you go one and a quarter. What we're going to do is do one times four plus one is five. So you're going to get five, four. I'm going to add that. And then two times three is six, plus your two is eight. So eight thirds. Looking like that. Now we can add them together. So we need to get a common denominator. Again, easiest way, multiply those two together. So four times 12. So you've got 12. Enter. And then, because we've done times three you have to do five times three to get 15 and then because we've done eight times four we have to i mean three times four we have to do eight times four with 30. now we've got a common denominator we can add those together so add the tops together to get 47 and the common denominator stays the same 12. Now just remember you can simplify that so you go how 12 is going to 47, so it goes 12, 24, 36, so 3, and you've got 11, 12, over. Hopefully that should be easy enough. Uh, next one, so again, top of your fraction first, so 5 times 8 is 40, plus your 1. Over 8. So 2 times 5 is 10 plus your 2. 12 over 5. Again, get the common denominator. We're going to multiply the bottom two together. Times 5, 5 40. So 40. Again, we're doing minus this time. So let's make sure I've got that minus in. And then cross multiply. So 41 times 5, 205. Remember, this would likely, that should be a 2, to be on a non calculator paper. So you need to make sure you do these questions on a calculator. 8 times 12 is 96. And then, just because it's subtract, you know, just subtract the top. So 5 minus your 96. Gives you 109 over 40. Again, go back into a mixed number. So it'd go 40, 80. So you could get two whole ones. Jules. 40, 80. So that leaves me with 29 over 40. That should be enough to do memories. Have a go at this one. Uh, pause it for, because I'm going to go for the answer in a minute. So pause it, have a go on your paper, then see if you get out my explanation in a second. Right, then hopefully you've had a go at that. So I'll go through this quickly. So I've got 70 over 5 plus 17 six together and we get and 30. 
So, sorry, Ryan. So, 17 times 6 gives me 102. 6 times, sorry, 5. 5 times 17 gives me 85. Add together to give me 1, 8, 7. Which go in the table, you get 6, 8 to 1, 8, 9, 7, 30, and left. So hopefully you got that. And have a go at these questions here. Um, just remember, people always ask me on this one, if this one's 7 8, there's no number in front of it, same as this half, it just stays a 7 8. You only have to change that one to a top of the fraction on this. So, with this one, it's got a little bit of a code break to it as well. So you add it together, find your answer, and whatever answer is one of these letters, and spell out the answer to what is a smart bird's favourite type of maths. Right then, pause. You video there, and if right then, hopefully you paused it. How to go these questions without the code? So you would have got all these answers here. Oh, I've got wrong here. Uh, Is Al somewhere and the So it's mixed up right now, so it will be all sorry about that. So there's your answers. Um so uh, smart birds favorite type of algebra. Right. So I'll just mark those now, put the answer in the right place, and see how you've done again. Email me your answers. Um so I can see how well you've done.